All right, what is good, everybody? Welcome, welcome to the Spiritual War Room. I am here to do a pick a pile. We are going to look into what is being hidden from you, okay? So this is going to be pile one and pile two. I will put the timestamps down below in the description box. All right, guys. But before we jump into the, these readings, don't forget to show me some love, like, share, subscribe. Remember, guys, when you send me good energy, I send that good energy back. All right, guys. All right. So pile one, pile two, pick your piles and I will see you guys at your readings. All right. Pile number one, we are going to look into what is hidden from you. Okay. Okay. Now, this could be at work, this could be in your family, in your relationship, um, in your friend group, wherever, okay? We're going to see what's hidden from you for pile number one. Okay, we have the Page of Cups, um, Temperance, and the Eight of Wands. Hmm. I'm getting someone believe that, um, I want to say that you were, you know, just kind of too nice, but you, you communicated something where you see through someone's facade. Okay. Maybe they don't want you to see that. Maybe that's what's being hidden from you. That somebody's time is up because someone is was trying to manipulate someone with money with the Four of Pentacles. Yep. Their time is up. Judgment is here. Yeah. Maybe they could have... Maybe they were even, like, stealing money from you. Money that you made. Like, new... This is new money. Ace of Pentacles. But this is new money that was hidden from you. So maybe you had money coming in and um, you didn't know about it. Actually, um, this, I was just watching Malcolm in the Middle and there was an episode, it was called Malcolm's Money, where he received a $10,000 check and his father, um, his father, uh, cashed it in. He forged his signature and cashed it in and, um, him, the, the father, the mother and the little brother were all fighting over this money, um. I'm getting kind of that energy that maybe, you know, maybe there was a, 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 ch a check or some form of um, money that came into you and somebody took it. There could have been a group of people. They were, they were. <laughs> maybe somebody, they were talking about it. This person took, they put it in their bag and then like took off, like got away, like try to get away. Yeah. Six of cups. It's like she's like sneaking off. It kind of looks like the same person, you know. Mm hmm. Hey, Jawan, someone's going to get some, there's going to be some kind of message. When I, okay, so someone was trying to control another person with money. Um, maybe they wanted this person codependent on them. We have the Ten of Wands. Yeah, they wanted to have this person, like, weighed down. That was the plan of, like, a, a group. To have this person weighed down financially. Wherever they were receiving their money, that person was manipulating the situation. Judgment's going to be called on this group and the person that took, took this money. Yeah. I heard burn their bridge. They This group burned their bridge with this person because this is someone who would have given to them, who would have invested in them. You know, this isn't... Whoever they stole from is somebody who would have helped whatever they wanted to do, like whatever hobbies they had or whatever career. they Almost like this person could have helped them grow it somehow. 
And this person probably, like, they, I'm getting they hung themselves because they tried to take out the person that was supposed to help them. They tried to steal from the person that could have helped them. They burned that bridge. They hung themselves all because they wanted to be greedy and steal from this person. Yeah. This person that they took from sees through their facade, sees through their shit that they try to steal from them. They were just keeping track of like how many times you, you know, you did them wrong. Like they gave, I'm hearing they gave you lots of chances. Probably this could have been even family because they had a lot of love for, you know, these people who were trying to go against them. But, you know, this person wasn't dumb to what they were doing. They were just keeping track of how, you know, would you, would you have their back or would you turn on them? Like how, how are you going to act? This was like a test of character. How are you going to act when no one, when you think no one is looking? <sighs> That's the truth. People thought they were going to be able to get away with this. They thought because, oh, well, this is family. You know, they won't, they wouldn't do that. They wouldn't turn their back on us. Yes, they would. Yes, they would. They would, you know. They could even, oh, these people wanted this person stuck and trapped in a home situation, in financial, in a financial situation, codependent on, uh, you know, someone else or a group of people. They they only wanted to have this control so they could trap and and betray this person. They tried to um, do this by. I heard way of love, like they used someone's love for them ag against that person. That's fucked up. That person moved away though. Like I think this person is like, again, this person isn't dumb. Testing someone's character. Are you gonna pour into me like I pour into you? You don't, I move away. Like, this person isn't accepting the, the bullshit. Maybe. Mm. So why is this being hidden from pile number one? The world. The lovers. <laughs> the six of wands. Because you poured into yourself. Like, um, maybe you're not seeing it. It's. Maybe it's not, it's hidden from you. You don't see that you have a new cycle when it comes to a partnership. It could be a, a, a romantic connection. This is what happens and it's, it's gonna bring a lot of um, celebration. Like a lot of people are gonna pay attention to this connection because you, you you poured into yourself. You were taking care of yourself and not worried about, you know, I don't, you just weren't worried with other, you weren't concerned with other people. You are happy and balanced and peaceful within yourself. And that's why you're going to be able to come into, to, um, you're going to, come together with someone who is the same as you. I heard equally yoked. Who's also balanced and can find peace within oneself. You know, you can you can get you can be a better partner when you have done the work on yourself, right? And you find good people. You're not messing with messy ass people <laughs> yeah this group tried to block you the group that burnt their bridge with you they tried to block your happiness their whole goal was to send in someone who would make you fall in love with uh, them so they can betray you and backstab you that's the devil that's these people those are these people who I honestly pile number one this is this is family 
Again, I'm getting you, you weren't naive. You were testing their character. And they, they, you, you don't like what you saw. And these people burn their bridge with you, pile number one. But what you don't see coming, you have good things, a, a, um, a successful relationship that's going to be coming in for you. Because you, you know, put the work into yourself. You nurtured yourself. You loved on yourself. You, you know, you tended, you were tending to your own garden and not worried about other people. You found peace within yourself. And because of that, you're going to find someone who has done the same. And you're going to have success and victory in this new cycle with this, with this new person, okay? So that's what's gonna, what's being hidden from you, pile number one. I hope this helped you um, in any way that it was supposed to. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And don't forget to check out the description box. There's more information down below so you can contact me if you want to schedule your own personal readings. Okay, guys? But if not, and this is where I leave you, have a great one, guys. All right, pile number two. This is your reading. We are going to look into what is hidden from you. This could be... In your family, at work, in your friend group, in your relationship, wherever. We're going to pull the cards and see what comes out. Just let the cards tell the story, right? So the first card that came out is the King of Swords. Okay. being hidden from you hmm the truth what's of what's being hidden from you whatever was spoken on this child regarding wanting this king of Pentacles to move away from this child and the truth about the conflict surrounding this child okay so whatever whatever was spoken on this situation is the truth with the king of swords if it comes in reverse it's usually indicating like strong um, deception but this is a truth speaker what's being hidden from you is that they don't want you to see how sad this whole situation is making them who doesn't want you to see partner who's trying to like I'm getting like um, they feel they feel like they're not being heard maybe they feel something about messages behind their back Someone's not telling you what's being hidden from you. Someone's not telling you how much that hurt them. Someone's deception could have possibly ended a connection. There's, there's some kind of some form of control um, where one this partner feels trapped they feel trapped this king of cups um, just take you know this this person has a 
this person has the car and you know that's how they sneak around i'm getting a couple two different energies so if you chose pile number one only take what resonates this could be one story this could be another You could have little parts. Not everything is um, not, it, not every part of this story is for everyone, okay? Someone doesn't feel heard. Or this could be, okay, maybe this person that feels trapped because the King of Cups has the car, they leave their partner at home, God only knows what they're doing. Um, this person could be saying, oh, there's a message, hey, um, come, come home, come home. And so this person's like, hey, can you have the car? I can't drive, I don't have a car. Um, can you take me home to, you know, maybe to their hometown to see family and this person's like no hell no I'm not gonna do that and there could be some arguing about this this person feels trapped I, I'm hearing entrapment this is a this is some form of abuse whoever is in this relationship doesn't know how to get out of it this person is probably holding their money Ooh, I heard um computer uh what well, just left me um like cyber security that's what it was cyber security so this person could be um like hacking into people's someone's account i don't know this this person doesn't pay attention probably to everything that they have in their account so this person is taking most of their money and giving them the bare minimum so this person if this person is trapped like what's going to happen to this person so maybe that's what you're not seeing is that this person is trapped in a, in their relationship their person is controlling them their transportation their money their living situation this person is controlling everything um yeah they're not able to have control of their money. That is what's being hidden from you. And they don't know how to get out of this situation. They need to end this relationship. They need to walk away. Yeah. This person um, will not. Um, this person is kind of bound by. If this person wants to give to them. Take them where they need to go. Stuff like that. But they could be putting on a. Um this facade that they are very loving and giving they could be fighting and arguing um ca causing like this person doesn't want to hear it like <sighs> yeah man i'm getting a lot of like frustration with this this is a very controlling energy is a very controlling energy yeah knight of wands is very it's very it can be very cruel if you think if you you're not going to be able to get away whoever this is is not going to be able to get away with creating this heartache um they think they're being sneaky with it um especially with the money <clears throat> you're going to get caught up you're going to go, oh, Spirit says, that's the truth, that's the truth, that's the truth. Yeah. This person, it's even the truth also that you have a third party coming into your home while this person is at work. The person that you're stealing from is working. Um, you're cheating on them. And then you take the money that they earn. You're it's, you're deceptive while you're, you know. Again, th this person is still trying to put put on a, a show of this facade that everything is good, that they're happy. Um, 
but yeah they're they're trying to get out of this heartache it's not gonna work hmm. let's see what's going on with this person with the baby i think that's what's being hidden from you over here is that um the truth of what the truth of uh what was spoken people don't know how to get out of what they are <laughs> they can't like hide anymore like they've been exposed they've been seen oh man okay and then we had this other story over here where somebody is trapped in a relationship where their person is controlling they control their money they control the transportation they need help getting out so that's something that you're not seeing what else can you tell us you could have maybe assumed something like that because of something you've seen Maybe talking about wanting to walk away. Maybe. that's trapped in their relationship what can you tell me about the, the truth it's going to come to an end somebody needs to get away from this person this person has control over them hmm. what can you tell me about the story where the person feels trapped they're they're suffering a lot of depression right now. What do we need to know about this person? It will get balanced out. This bully will be exposed for trying to keep uh, a hold on of your money. The, the illusions won't hold up. The Queen of Swords knows the truth. This person has clarity. They see through the illusions. require someone to move back towards a mother mm -hmm. oh, man pile number two I heard I don't I don't want to go back home <laughs> So you could have moved like far away. You don't want to go back with your mom, I heard. You might have to go back to like a family and you're making the decision if you want to do that. I heard don't get married. I heard don't get married. You shouldn't want, you shouldn't get married. This is not the person. Because you could be really considering if you want to marry this person or end it. Or have to move back with family. That's what's being hidden from maybe your family. That this, you're making some... 
you're moving, I don't know. Say to end this connection. says not to worry about your work either you can find something if you're worried about your job mm. oh my goodness pile number two this is kind of like weighing heavy on me I hope you're okay what does pile two need to know what does pile two need to know of wands. What's the ace of wands? What's the ace of wands? could be somebody might want to trap you with a baby or you could be pregnant currently to trap you with a baby and like move you away so it's going to be harder for you to get away from this person so don't move anywhere far with this person don't I heard out of state they might want to try to move you out of state don't Ooh. Uh, this is giving me like Andrew Tate vibes where they want somebody completely codependent on them emotionally, um, physically, financially, so it, they can't really defend themselves. They they can't get away even if they wanted to because it's like they want this person to sever ties with family so this is like a this is a partner who won't who really doesn't want to get involved with your family with your you know your mother your father your sisters your brothers stuff like that uh, <clears throat> they don't want not only do they not want to be a part of your family this person's family they don't um, want that person to really spend much time with their family. This is isol this person isolates. This person is isolating this person. This man. Pile number two. This is the second story, not the first one, where somebody's getting the truth about a child. This this other second story. This could have a child involved, or a possible pregnancy. And then they're gonna move you away so that way that they're you know you're so dependent on the father this masculine energy for everything that you can't get away so if anything like you need to send messages to your family because your family doesn't know this you need to keep those connections going keep them strong let them let your family know what's going on you have to communicate yeah this person is stealing your money. That's what's being hidden from you. This person is taking your money. That's how they have control over you. That's how they hold on to you. That's how they keep you stuck. That's how they keep you feeling defeated. They probably have a good life. They're enjoying a lot because of the money they're taking from you. Again, I'm hearing cybersecurity. 
So somebody could be pretty um, tech savvy. So, and they can very, yeah, it's their job. It's their job. And they're, they, they're hiding that they're taking from you. This, you need to get away from this person, pile number two. This person is toxic. There's a lot of conflict. This person wants conflict between you and your family. And they, oh, they want you to believe that your family doesn't want us to be together. They, they're jealous of us. They hate us. That's why they're, they're trying to turn you against me. Don't listen to your family, says the devil. The devil only wants your money. This person, oh, they, they'll leave you abandoned. Like, they'll take you someplace, leave you abandoned somewhere. Mm, this person is planning on abandoning you. Yep, to do this to their partner. Do not go anywhere. If this person is trying to get you out of state. Um, oh, I, I keep hearing Arizona. Um, if I keep hearing Arizona. Watch yourself, man. Don't don't go anywhere with this person. Yeah, you got to break free from this person. This person's juggling you anyways. Judgment day, baby, for their deception. This person is juggling. This person's cheating on you. They're stealing from you. They're they're trying to um, create conflict for you and your family so they can isolate you. They want to trap you with the baby, have you codependent on them. So they can treat you like, you know, no oh, man, but you could trust this person. You could have really trusted this person to not steer you wrong. And this person is just, I hate to say it, but it's kind of like, it's giving me like, <sighs> I hate to say it, but it's giving me like slave type energies. Like this person keeps this person down and confined and they manipulate them like a, a puppet like I don't know like you're gonna go do this for me you're gonna do that for me and they don't even have to say it like that uh, they could be, try to word it like it's their idea like oh maybe hey maybe if you know you got a second job we can afford to blah 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 while this whole person the whole time this person is having this person work for them stealing from them again it's giving me like um, Andrew Tate vibes. I don't think this is Andrew Tate, but you know, this is somebody who, who, you know, probably, um, does things in the same way. So yeah, this, the best thing, if, if this is a, what's, um, what's hidden from you. So this could be about somebody that you know, who is in who's stuck in this situation and they don't know how to get out of it they probably don't even know that their person is taking secretly um, stealing from them and cheating on them and controlling them by keeping them trapped without a car um, this person is dependent on their for the you know on this other person for their living situation um, this person just doesn't know how to, I heard, just doesn't know how to be an adult. And this person might need their family to come and um, give them a way out. So, all right, pile two, that's what I have for you. I hope this reading helped you in any way that it was supposed to. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to check out the description box. There's information down below so you can contact me if you want to schedule your own personal readings. Okay, guys? But if not, and this is where I leave you, have a great one, guys.